Hi, fifth graders. Today's topics are going to be fractions of a number, and then we're going to do word problems that consist of fractions of a number, and then we're going to multiply two fractions and then do word problems on multiplying two fractions. First, we're going to start off with um, fractions of a number. So when it asks you what number is one third of nine, it's given us a fraction and the number, right? So in order to find the fraction of that number, we just multiply the fraction and the number together. So it'll be one third times nine, which is over one. And then this step is optional. Um, so I like to cross simplify as I go. So this three will turn into a one and this nine will turn into a three. And then we just multiply across. Um, three times one is three, and then one times one is one. So my answer would be three. Um, you can choose to just do one third times nine over one, just straight across. So it'll be one times nine and three times one, and then simplify after. But um, for most cases, it's easier to simplify as you go. So let's do a word problem that uses fractions of a number. Um, number three states of the 18 cookies in the cookie jar, three ninths are, are peanut butter cookies. How many peanut butter cookies are in the cookie jar? So in this equation, we're given the total number of cookies, which is 18. And then we're given the fraction that are peanut butter cookies. So in order to find the total number of peanut butter cookies in the cookie jar, we're going to multiply the fraction by the total number. So it's going to be 18 over 1 times 3 ninths. And 3 ninths is the same thing as 1 third when you simplify it. So I'm going to rewrite the equation. 18 over 1 times 1 third. And then I'm going to do the cross simplifying cross simplify that I like. So it'll be this 3 will turn into 1, and this 18 will turn into a 6, right? Because 6 times 3 is 18. And when I multiply across, 6 times 1 is 6, and 1 times 1 is 1, I get 6. Once again, it is optional, but it is easier to simplify as you go. Because if I had just multiplied across and then simplified, it would have taken a little bit longer. So when we're doing word problems, labeling is extremely important. So I'm not going to just put 6, I'm going to put 6 peanut butter cookies. Because the equation or the question is asking me how many peanut butter cookies are in the cookie jar. So six peanut butter cookies will be my final answer. So next we're going to move on to multiplying two fractions. Um, it's basically very easy. It's not like addition or subtraction with fractions. You don't need to change the denominator or anything. You just multiply straight across. So let's do 8 over 17 times 4 over 9. For this one, none of these none of these can be simplified any further, so we're just going to multiply across. 8 times 4 is 32. And then I'm going to do 17 minus 9. I'm going to say 17 times 9. 7 times 9 is 63. Bring down the 6. I'm sorry. Bring, bring down the 3. Bring up the 6. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. So my fraction will be 32 over 153. And you can leave this as is because it can't be simplified any further. So for this one, just multiply across. That's all you need to know. Next, we're going to do the word problems of multiplying two fractions. So let's do number one. It states that last week, Lamar's fruit stand sold half of a box of peaches. Down the road, Carly's fruit stand sold half as many boxes of peaches as Lamar's did. How many boxes of peaches does Carly fruit stand sell? So, so it tells us that we want to find the boxes of peaches that Carly stands sold, right? And we're given the amount that Lamar stands sold, which is half. And we learned that Carly stands sold half as many. So that means that we need to multiply them. 
So we're going to need to multiply the two fractions given to us. So that's going to be 1 half times 1 half. And that's just multiplying across. That's so going to be 1 times 1, 1, 2 times 2, 4. Once again, labeling is extremely important. So I'm not just going to put 1 fourth. I'm going to put 1 fourth. Boxes. I think that's the best choice. How many boxes? Yeah. Of peaches, just to be more descriptive. And this is for Carly. Um, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope this video helped you guys a bit.